The events calendar lets you control the appearance of the calendar by overriding the plugin CSS code with your own. The plugin includes its own CSS file, but before it uses that file, it checks your theme for a custom style sheet first. And if it finds that style sheet, then those styles get used before the plugins. Here's how to add a custom style sheet for the calendar to your theme. First, locate the theme. It's going to be located where WordPress is installed on your server in the WP content folder. If you open that up and go to the themes directory, that should contain your theme. In this case, ours is this one here. Now that we've located our theme, let's go ahead and open it up. And inside of there, let's create a brand new folder. That folder can be called tribe-events. It's very important that this folder is called exactly that. And inside of this folder, let's create our brand new file called tribe hyphen events.css. This is going to be the style sheet that contains all of our custom styles for the calendar. Let's head over to our calendar. Let's say that we want to change the color of this blue button here. We can do that with CSS. The trick is to find out which CSS we need to override, and we can do that by going to our browser's DevTools by right clicking on the element and selecting Inspect Element. In some browsers, that may be called something else. Here's the element that we want to override here, this button. If we scroll down the Styles panel here, then we'll see that the background color is defined right here. This is the value for that blue. That means that we can take these styles here and add them to our style sheet and override that background color. Going back to our custom CSS file, we can paste those classes that we found in the code directly in the file. And then inside of there, we can start writing our styles. Let's say instead of blue, we want to do green. We can save this and then head back to our calendar and check it out. Now, when we refresh the page, our button is green. That's how we can override a style. But let's say we want to go a little further. For example, when we hover over this button, it's still blue. So we're going to need a little extra CSS to figure that out. Since we've already done the heavy lifting of figuring out which classes we want to override, we can just target the hover state of those styles. And in this case, we can keep the same background color of green, but maybe instead we can change the opacity just a little bit to give it that impression that it's fading. Let's go ahead and save that and check it out. When we refresh the page and hover over the button, it does exactly what we want and looks exactly how we want. Perfect. Thanks for watching. Thank you.